My research focus is in treating or managing a major complication of bone marrow transplantation. And the name of that complication is graft versus host disease. And essentially what happens in this process is that the donor cells, um, they go into the host or the recipient. And while they're trying to do its action and engraft successfully, unfortunately, in a certain percentage of time, up to even 70% of the time, um, there can be an attack onto the recipient cells. And this is known as graft-versus-host disease. This is the major complication after bone marrow transplantation and limits the broader application of this procedure. Phase one, phase two clinical trials are usually considered very high-risk clinical trials. And to get funding to the to do these type of high-risk uh, trials is very challenging, very hard, and especially in this day and age where the typical funding, such as from the National Institutes of Health, is getting much more challenging, much more difficult to get. So having philanthropic or organizations such as uh, Gateway um, is it critical to be doing these um, exciting, novel, high-risk type of clinical trials. And I think most of our patients generally are thankful that they had the opportunity to potentially contribute to science and help future patients. They're, it's amazing how altruistic patients are in terms of wanting to sign up, not only for personal benefit, but to also help future patients. If you look at where we are right now, even in the past sort of decade plus that I've been in this field, you know, we have a targeted therapy for CML. We have now the, these amazing uh, CAR T cell immunotherapy approaches that are really curing cancers that even just a decade ago you wouldn't have imagined. So even though um, we do see failures along the way. We learn through clinical trials and laboratory investigation, and, and so I hope we can get there, but it happens one day at a time, one patient at a time, and um, one disease at a time.